right, guys. Uh, this is Ray White from the Mushin Academy in Battle Creek, Michigan, all the way up in Grand Rapids at the Triumph MMA Gym uh, with uh, pro fighter Josh Zimmer. And we're going to show you guys the UFC Force Tracker. Uh, it's a device that has an accelerometer in it, and it has an app uh, that you can put on your uh, tablet or on your smartphone, and uh, it'll keep the count around for you. It'll also count the hits and measure the force of the swing of the bag based on how hard you hit it. And you can adjust that up or down so maybe it doesn't measure the swing as much as it measures the hit. Uh, we haven't dialed it in too much, but we just want to show you guys how it works. Uh, have some fun with it, and we want to see uh, uh, how we like it. Uh, but to mount it, we gotta, we got to have a bag, and uh, uh, we're not going to bore you with putting this on. We're going to put this on and then cut it out. Uh, but you want to mount it on the bottom of the bag. They do say if you have a freestanding bag, you can mount it on top. Uh, and uh, it'll measure the wiggle of the bag, uh, but this in this case we're just going to use this nice tie bag, and we're going to slap it on the bottom. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, they give you some 3M uh, double-sided tape uh, to mount it on the bottom of the bag, and the the instructions comes with uh, with alcohol wipes to to clean off the bottom of the bag. But we want to be able to move this from bag to bag. Uh, this is Josh's gym and not my gym, and I I don't want to leave this here, so I'm going to take it home with me. Uh, so what I did is I went out and bought some 3M uh, Velcro uh, double-sided uh, Velcro tape. And that way uh, I can peel it off and it'll, it'll leave the little pieces. And if I come back, I can just put it on again. But it should be strong enough. Uh, I bought the big hook, hook and loop uh, pieces. It should be strong enough to keep it on the bag because it's really just swinging. Uh, as long as it's not impacting into the wall too hard uh, or if it's not scraping on the floor, it should be fine. Uh, at least I think so. That's the workaround I'm going to try. Uh, we'll let you know how that works, uh, but we're not using the actual 3M tape and leaving it permanent. Uh, we wanted more of a temporary solution, okay? We'll be right back. Okay, guys, one thing I want to show you, uh, they do say if you have a bag that has the bands on it to offset mount it. So we're going to mount offset it to the side here. Uh, if you have a bag that doesn't have uh, the reinforcing bands, you can mount it right to the bottom. Uh, but if you notice, we're off center, and uh, that's just so we can get good adhesion on the leather. Uh, this textured fabric uh, won't hold the, uh, your, your glue tape. So just make note of that, guys. Hopefully that helps you guys out. And we'll be right back here with some action. Okay, guys, really quick. This is the app that you download, uh, the X-Force app. And uh, once you have the device on the bag uh, and you have the batteries in it, you'll see the red LED light come on. Uh, it'll pair with the device to the app and you should be ready to go. Uh, they have challenges. If you create a file, uh, it'll keep your uh, stuff on file. You can compare it with other people. Uh, right now, uh, we just want to show you guys how it works. So we're just going to show you the training mode. And you can set up the rounds. Uh, if you touch the round here, we can decide how many rounds we want. And we're going to go with a, uh, we'll show you guys maybe three rounds. And we'll, uh, we'll dice it up. We won't bore you with everything, but we're just going to confirm that. We've got three rounds now, three minute round. Now, if you're training for MMA, Josh is a pro fighter. He, we could set it up for a five minute round, uh, but we're just gonna go with an easy three minute round here. Uh, we might even dice that up. And uh, break between rounds, you can set it up. We like a nice 60 second rest, but you can change that. And you can change that up anywhere from, you know, no rest up to 60 seconds. Okay, so five second increments. And I like a nice 60 second rest. But we're just gonna show you guys how this works. Uh, once I hit start, it's gonna give us a countdown. Punch the bag to start the countdown. Okay, it's ready to go. Three, two, one. Josh is gonna start working on the bag. The harder he hits it, the harder the force. Okay, so you guys can see that working. Hardest part about training is uh, performance management. If you don't measure, you can't improve. So as he hits here, 27 hits. The, the hard ones are registering. And it's actually pretty good. I have seen it where uh, sometimes the bag swing gets registered if you've got it dialed in too sensitive. Uh, you might register bag swings, but right now it's only registering his hits. Okay? 
I think the force is probably arbitrary. I don't know, but there, you can uh, at least have a benchmark to work from. He's a minute and 55 seconds. So he's got a minute 50 left as it counts down. Pretty slick. First round in, he can work his punches, his kicks. He can move any clinch. He can work his knees. So it doesn't matter. Unlike the glove-mounted accelerometers, uh, this one's on the bag. So it's just the stop and the change of direction. He's kind of tapping it light. Let's see him hit the bag hard. Let's see him work it hard. There we go. There we go. Also, if you see the... Uh, the percentage of the round here is going from blue to red. So if he's working this alone and he, he wants to kind of see where he's at, he can kind of visually quickly see where, how much of the round is left based on how much of the frame is changing color. Josh is getting a nice workout. We actually just did two hours of MMA training, so I'm making him do even more. Okay, time. Okay, so we have this offset mounted, and we have to be careful because uh, the way I mounted it, it's sticking out just a little bit. So uh, we were just hitting it, and it bounced off the wall, and it popped off. So uh, hopefully that's not an issue for you, uh, but if you do have it uh, offset mounted because of the straps, uh, just watch it. Make sure it isn't sticking out too far on the side, or if it is, just make sure it doesn't impact with anything else. Okay, I'm going to have Josh come back in here. And we're going to do a, just do another round, and again, I'm going to bring the app up so you guys can see it at work. Uh, and then I'm just going to let him finish out his, his round. So it's going, to, it's going to start the countdown after he touches it. Three, two, one. Goes off. And actually, it dinged, so I got the volume turned down. There we go. I got the volume turned back up. Punches per second. So he's at one punch per second, 1.1. Let me see a fast flurry. Let me see come in. There you go. So he works it up to 1.2. Let's see that again. There we go. So again, if you quantify and measure, you can work on performance. But if you don't benchmark, you have no idea what you need to work on. Let me see another flurry. There he goes, back up to back up to one punch. He's getting a little little winded here, halfway through the round, slowing down just a little bit. He can look, he can get that feedback. 102 punches, or 102, 102 strikes. He's mixing in knees, elbows. There we go. One minute left again. That visual countdown on the outside of the app there, you can see the change in the color. Doesn't matter what range he's in, it's gonna count every strike. Punches, knees, kicks, all, all everything. Yep, just watch it, we don't wanna knock it off the when it hits the wall. Good, let me see power hooks. Let me see some power. Harder he hits it. There we go. It does seem to register higher when you're meeting the force of the bag, which makes sense. If a guy's walking into the punch, he's gonna get hit harder. Time! Okay, so here it's counting out his break time. It's gonna give you that color change on the outside so you can 
at a glance or if he's, if he's nearsighted like I am, you can see it. Okay, so that's the app in a nutshell. Um, if, you, uh, if you do create a profile, you can kind of compare yourself to other people. Uh, the score is based on the number of strikes and the force used. Uh, it also depends on how they have it dialed in for sensitivity. You could jack your score up if you change the sensitivity, but uh, I like it where it's less sensitive, uh, so really only the harder shots are counting. Um, that way uh, you're not counting just swing of the bag, because I, I have seen other people use it, and just the movement of the bag, it'll, sometimes it'll count that if it's dialed in too low. Uh, but Josh was only, it was really only counting when Josh was changing the direction on it. Uh, but if you're curious, this is, it looks like a fun way. Uh, you could have an in-gym in contest. This is dialed in the same bag on the same way. Uh, we could have somebody come out, somebody else come up and work the bag and uh, see who's got the best, uh, best score for the week or something. That would actually, that, that's a great idea, actually. I really like that. Um, and then you can set up your own profile here. Now, it's set up for me. Uh, and it looks like uh, it's in metrics. But, uh, so I'm going to steal your score. <laughs> but uh, that's in a nutshell, guys. Uh, come on out here, Josh. So good workout. Uh, the bag, uh, you know, uh, we use these bags a, a lot. Uh, the tie bag is a great bag. You could also set this up on a knee bag or, or any other punching bag. Um, I like the bottom uh, bottom mount versus the top mount. I think it's just uh, closer to the way it was designed. Um, but if you're if you're an athlete uh, or if you're uh, a hobbyist but you want to get better, again, you can't improve what you don't measure. Uh, it beats having to have somebody stand there and click every hit, every punch, and in this case, it knows the harder punch versus the uh, soft punch. Um, so you can count your volume or you can count the force. Uh, but I want to thank Josh for having us up to uh, Triumph MMA in Grand Rapids, Michigan uh, to try this out. And uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, you can click through the links in the bottom. Uh, and if you want to buy one, uh, hit that link. It helps us out. And uh, if you want more information on new products and new training methods, uh, make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys.